Hi and uh, welcome to my shop. Um, tonight I'm going to do a video on the lining of this low HF225. Um, nice British made uh, shortwave radio from the 80s. An excellent reputation for performance. Um, and I'm quite impressed with this radio. I've had it quite a few years. Um, very basic sort of Heathkit styled sort of front panel to it. Uh, but the performance of the uh, set was always renowned for being very good. Lots of modifications available for it. This one's got the uh, FM board, as you see, plugged in there. I bought this, uh, I must have been 12, 15 years ago, from a, an old ex-amateur uh, radio uh, operator in Burgess Hill. And it was a bit of a sad situation, really, because he was a... Uh, I had a funny feeling that both him and his wife were about to move into a home and I remember going into the house and uh, he was a very nice old chap and it was this was this was for sale before the internet on um I think this was on uh, either Gumtree it wouldn't have been Gumtree it would have been the local uh, East Grinstead magazine uh, fl uh, flyer paper called the Friday ad I think it was or the Grinstead anyway I went to pick this thing up and his uh, his poor old wife, I think she had Alzheimer's, and uh, she, when she took a look at me, she panicked and said, "What you know, what's this man doing? And she, it was a bit sad, and he sort of took me into his little workshop that he was sort of, you could see he was dismantling it. Um, and he said, well, this is it, you know, he said, uh, six, 60 quid if you're happy with that. So I bought it, and it was, um, I've used it quite a few times, actually. Uh, and it's a nice old radio, and they are, they're, they're, as I say, they're quite popular and are well thought after. I'm just going to do an IF alignment check on it, just to see um, how when it's uh, in alignment still. And the spec says to connect a, uh, a 5 microvolt uh, 14 meg signal into it. So let's, let's go at carrier frequency, uh, 5 microvolts, I'm oh, sorry, carrier carry a level 5 microvolt and it says use a AM signal at 70% modulation AM 70% okay and a uh, carrier frequency of 14 meg okay as you can hear on there and then it what it says is connect to a SYNAD meter now SYNAD meter is a signal to noise ratio and distortion meter and what it does is it, it differentiates between the background noise and the, a, a tone. And if you turn the volume up here, you see here, this is our synad level here. Now, what I'm going to do is I think you're supposed to set up a reference level first, but it doesn't seem to be that critical. So it's our AC level. Let's take that up to about half a volt. Then go to synad. Now what the adjustment is, is adjusting the front end, I hope you can hear this over, you can hear me over this tone, is just the IF strip for maximum amount of tone with minimum amount of noise, and this will be indicated by the highest level on the Synad meter. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and adjust T, TC1 and TC4 for maximum Synad. TC4 is here. TC1 is TC3. And where is TC1? It does actually show you in the. Okay, that's TC1 there. So I'm going to adjust this one first for maximum synad. And you can also see the meter on the right. Looks like that was pretty well set at 24 d dB. So that's 24 dB above the, the noise level. So that's, let's try TC4. Dropping it off. 
Can't get it any better than that. So let's just try and I think there's a way of making that manually change to the next level, but let's reduce the level. I think the problem is I'm putting such a such a sensitive tuner or front end that it's swamping the synad meter. Let's turn there we go. That's that's more like it. You want to work around this sort of 12 dB range. So let's try again. Watching the meter on the right and the and the meter here. What maximum deflection? That's maximum I can get there. Getting back to the TC1 again. Need to stay on there. Oh, this is more sensitive now. Okay. Very touchy control. And to be honest with you, I can hear just as well how much gain I'm getting out of the out of the IF strip I don't really need the meter. However the analog meter is giving me the better idea of what's going on. There we go, 14 and a half dB. So that's the IF strip aligned for maximum gain. Um, and then th you move on to further tests. It's um, S meter adjustment. It says um, from 5.2, which is what I've just done. Oh, that's why. I'm just reading back. I thought it said 5 microvolts, but it actually says half a microvolt. So that would make sense. Let's go into half a microvolt. 0.5 Okay, that's the sort of level you'd expect, and it says the figure you want, the reason shall be greater than 8 dB. Now, the one thing I haven't done is calibrate on the 8663, the Synad meter, because I had no reference level. Um, so, let's just see, we, all we need interested really is getting this, this figure as high as possible. It's wanting 8 dB, it's presently at 6, let's see if we can just get it up to, to 8 dB and then I'll be happy. I can hear it falling off. Okay, let's try the other one. Get the control. Lost the signal so low it's off the right end of the range. Okay, I can't get it any higher than six and a half dB. I'm not entirely sure about the output level of the uh, Marconi. I'm sure it's pretty close, but it's uh, it looks like six dB, six and a half dB is about the maximum I'm going to get, which is which is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with this radio. This is just a fine tweak, really, just to. That's falling off again. This is where an analog meter always shines for making it easier to see what what's happening. Digital meters are okay for steady result, but if you're trying to get something peaked. An analog meter is always the thing that I would always use. Six, six dB, six and a half dB. So that's peak. That's IF. You won't get it any higher than that. And then from five point two, it says increase the signal generator output to one hundred and sixty microvolts. Uh, so one sixty microvolts. Um, and then it says, this is adjusting the S meter. Uh, it should we read S9 to S9 to plus 10 dB? What have we got there? 
yeah, S9 to 10 BB. So that's that's actually spot on. And it says input filter check. Connect the signal generator to the 50 ohm antenna input socket and inject one microvolt signal modulated with a 70% AM at 1 kilohertz. Connect the synad meter to the external loudspeaker socket. Set the volume controls to mid position. Uh, tuning the receiver tune the receiver and the signal generator together, check the synad readings are greater than 10 dB at all the frequencies listed above. So basically what we're doing is we're just checking a response flatness throughout the frequency range. Um, I'll do a couple, I'm not too bothered about that, but this is just a function of test, there's no adjustment for this, this is just checking to make sure the set's um, responding correctly. So we go to um, 4.2 megs, so let's go to 4.2 megs on here. Now, there is a remote control keypad for this, but I uh, haven't actually got it at the moment. Uh, 4.2, so... Slow way of doing it. There, there are quicker ways of doing it, but I can't remember how to do it. So that's 4.2 meg. Uh, and then we need to uh, inject a 4.2 megahertz frequency. 4.2 meg. That's, uh, and this is... So I need to now, what do I need? It's just checking for the signal strength is around 10 dB. Inject a 1 microvolt, RF level 1 microvolt. And it says... Yeah, tune... The Tune the receiver and signals generated together and check the synad readings is greater than 10 dB at all the frequencies given. Well, as we said before, I'm not entirely sure about the uh, accuracy of the synad meter, but it certainly sounds like I can hear it okay. And if I can hear it at um, 1 microvolt, I'm perfectly happy. So let's try at 19 megs. So go to 19 megs on here. Same, nice clear signal, no problem there at all. Synad's slightly higher now actually. And ideally what I should be doing is I should be entering the frequency with the direct keypad because I haven't got the resolution on the meter. I could be off tune and not know. But it's certainly certainly working fine. So that's uh, just a quick sort of test of the front end. There aren't many adjustments on this. There are adjustments for the squelch level uh, and the, the, me the meter. And there's an adjustment for the FM board, which you uh, hardly ever use anyway. So yeah, that's the uh, low HF225. Nice old uh, British-made radio. 